Here we are going to build a set of seat spokes. Uh, we've got we've got four spokes here, and we've got one 100 seat strand or string of seat lights. Uh, the basics of a spoke is you've got the fiberglass rod. In this case, it's a Harbor Freight one. We have got a spoke cap at the end that acts both as a safety mechanism as well as a place, if you use a 3D printed one, is a place to be able to, to hold a seed. On the other end, we've got the plug cap that will help secure the spoke to the rest of the ball. And then we've got the barrel connector, which is the new way of doing the connection. In between, we'll see we've got a couple of special clips that are good for holding seed wire and securing it along the the, the, the post of the of the rod. So we've got four of these, and with that, we're going to go on and build them here now. Over here, we've got our four spokes. The uh, the first piece that we're going to do is we've got the barrel connectors. There, uh, you're going to want to have four, and these are kind of small. You may or may not be able to see them. Uh, they are uh, M3 grub nuts that are four millimeters in length. You can take a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench and it works well for these. When you set these into the container, and maybe this one's not going to go too well, sometimes these little grub nuts are not the highest quality. So, uh, and of course now, there we go, we got it in there. Uh, for these, I do not use a tap. I find you get a, a stronger fit if you go on and just muscle your way through into the barrel connector. And it doesn't take a whole bunch of effort, so I've got one of these set up. I'm going to do the other three now. Okay, that task is done. You'll also want to tap out and put M4 grub nuts into the actual caps itself. In my case here, I've already done that task. I just take a tapping mechanism. I got this one off of Amazon. It was like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, it came with a number of different size tap bits. I, I find this is really indispensable for the, for the various fireworks stars. If you get one that does not have a spiral type tap, it's worth investing a little extra in finding a set of spiral taps at the M3, M4, and some of the other M level ones. I find it's a whole bunch easier to be able to go on and tap out the holes if you've got the spiral mechanism to that. Okay, so we'll have those ready to go. We have also got the cap connectors. In this case, I realized I forgot to bring over some double zero uh, washers. What you would do is you take the double zero washer, you put them into there. I think for this demonstration, we'll just go on and go forward with what we have. Also got a set of zip ties and we've got some of the yellow clips. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the first one and I'm going to put the cap on top and I'm going to secure this to the, to the post. I'm going to do the same for the other three now. Next we're going to take the barrel connectors, well actually before we do the barrel connectors, we take the plug caps and we put them on, make sure they're facing downwards because they're going to screw into stuff. We'll get them placed into position. And then afterwards we're going to take the little barrel connectors. Now when you get them, you're going to want to take your finger and go on both sides and one side is going to flare out just a little bit more than the other side. Uh, this is just an after effect of, of the printing, at least the quality prints that I go on and sometimes end up having, where it will be just a little bit bigger on the side that actually was the first layer that was printed on the build plate of, of the printer. So the side that flares out is the side that you want to point up. This way when the spoke goes into a spoke connector, it'll go in, you won't have any issues and the little flare uh, the flare edge of it will be towards the top side. So I figured it out for that one. Once you put it in here, uh, I give myself about uh, half an inch, maybe just a little bit more. Uh, we can adjust this a little bit more afterwards. But you get it in there and then you go on and you tighten up the barrel until it is secure to the, 
to the fiberglass rod. And okay, so we've got one done. I will get the other three done now. Okay, I'm finding the flare. The flare is going to go towards the top side. Okay, now with that accomplished, we are ready to start working with the see the string lights. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pull out a few of these clips. I, I tend to print because I, I'm using fiberglass rod of the Harbor Freight size as well as with the standard 3 16 So I, I print slightly different colors. I use yellow for the yellow here. We got them over there. We might need a little bit more as we go on. Uh, but we'll get started with this. Okay, so I've got my first string of sea lights. Now, for these spokes, the way we will have them built out is there's going to be one seed that's going to go in to the spoke area and then there's going to be 11 seeds that will go up the spoke. We'll have one at the tip, 11 down, and then you have one seed that exits. And then you'll have another seed just before you go into the second spoke. So what we'll do here is I'm going to take Actually, before we do that, so we got one that's going to come on in, then I'm going to count 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then the 12th seed is going to be the one that's going to sit on top. So I'm going to get that one into place first. And then with that, what I can do is I start working my way back down. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these little spoke clips and put it on in. And uh, they're designed in such a way that you can put the wire just a little bit on the inside of them. And then, so we've got that. I'm going to go down a couple more. We're going to kind of expand out the string here. And go down a couple more. And when you do this, you want to pay attention to the outside of the seeds that they are pointing on the outside and not pointing on the inside. Uh, that's an easy mistake to make. And when you look at the seeds, you can go on and tell, but it's something you really have to kind of look at it personally up close. The, the side that is the back side tends to be a little more flat. So as we can see here, I'm beginning to establish a nice straight line on both sides. I do the best I can to keep it somewhat taut. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect and it has, doesn't have to be super, super taut, but keeping it kind of organized. What you don't want is you don't want the, the wires to... to go around all uncontrollably to play around and okay let's see there we go so we'll put in another one here we've got that in and as we can see down here we've got this intro seed which is just off to the side we're going to take this and come on down a little bit further and then Now that we are satisfied that we have this, we're going to do a quick count and make sure that nothing got messed up here with this first one. We've got one seed coming in, and then we go up 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got the top seed. The twelfth one is a single, and then we have an equal number of them down, and then we'll have one seed out, and then we have another seed that will go in to the next spoke and then we start the activity all over again. Spoke number two in, and what we have done here is we've got 11 up, then a tip, and then 11 down. We have got two across, and then we started up again. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got the tip and back down. Now we're going to rinse and repeat two more times here. don't have a 
3D printer and aren't able to print the clips, you can do the same thing by committing by just using zip ties. Uh, start with zip tying the, the very top one first. Uh, I like being able to use the clips first because it allows you a little bit of flexibility to make sure everything is just right before you start putting on zip ties because uh, I think the biggest pain with a zip tie is if you decide you need to take it off then you got to clip it off and you don't want to clip the wire to the lights. I've got one C bleeding out, and I do. So, in this case, what we have done is we have taken four pieces of uh, two foot cut fiberglass rods. We've added the spoke caps that are used both from a safety perspective as well as it provides a nice place to be able to hold the top C light and keep it secured. Uh, on the bottom side, we have added the, the plug caps that will allow us to screw the spokes and secure them into the hubs. Uh, we've got the barrel connectors that we attached with the M3 by four millimeter grub screws. Uh, you do not tap those holes to be able to put the stuff on in. I hope you find this uh, little tutorial helpful and good luck in making your spokes. Thank you. Mm -hmm.